Good morning, Timber Brave family. Um, we're here today at the Ken Oath Barbershop, run by Sam, the Barter Barber, here in Palmerston in the ACT. Um, and we're just setting up this morning to give out some free haircuts as part of November. And say good day to Sam. Hey, everybody. How you doing? So Sam. Um, is the barter bar but he's come over from New Zealand he's been in Australia now for about a year yep just year. on probably today <laughs> today's probably a year today. but his um his reasoning for actually doing the barbershop is men's mental health is to get men to talk about their mental health which they're really bad at so um he's got a really check him out on facebook he's got a really big following on there too from new zealand and he's starting to get a big following here in australia as well um and apparently he's got a big story coming up on abc yeah tomorrow yeah. monday monday so check out abc for a story about sam and the and the barbershop. So, so Sam, what did, why do you think that the environment of a barbershop is good for men to discuss their mental health if they feel like it? I mean, there's quite a few different reasons. Um, there's quite a bit of um, uh, psychology that goes behind it. A big one is, and this is quite interesting to a lot of people, is the way that the body positioning is. So sitting down, sitting and reflecting on yourself directly and actually physically reflecting and then having somebody come over top of you, dominating, and touching your face. And so a lot of guys, especially heterosexual men, don't touch each other's faces. This is a very taboo area. And so to be able to give, let somebody in there, you have to have vulnerability. And with that vulnerability comes uh, closeness and compassion and that's what makes the barbershop work. Great, that's fantastic. Um, You've been, you've got your Ken Oath Barbershop trailer yeah. here, which we want to have a have a look at. So let's Absolutely. go in Come and have me. a look. Let's go from the back. Yeah, it's let's good. go in the entrance. That's right, that's right. right. We'll start from the back and I'll tell you a little story about how we've built this and how it's come together. So uh, we built this, it got this as a trailer, it wasn't fit for purpose, so we got it right down to the chassis and started again. All of this timber back here, these doors are from Old Parliament House. The threshold, oh you can see all the timber flecks from us uh, carving over the over the weekend but um, this is a lot of old parliament timber as well and we've rebuilt it all together. This is all handmade, the threshold's handmade and all the rest of it. And then if we come on in, you can see my... Um, so all of the power that's coming through here, we've got solar panels on top of it. All of the water comes into uh, tanks underneath that's collected on the roof so we're completely off grid. Got things like this beautiful, uh, whoops, secret, <laughs> secret, secret, secret compartment, the secret, big, big um, quotation. So we've got compartments all the way through here. Um, we keep all our battery storage in here um, and all the all the rest of it. These are all our fence palings, close to 100 year old fence palings from around Canberra. These are uh, pallets, just old pallets, just smoothed out with the best patterns on them. Um, and then the only timber that wasn't grown here in Australia is the tip of right up the front here. This is some Indole uh, Indonesian Calantis that we found. So Bo and I will be traveling around on this very soon. We're looking for a truck to put it on the back of. And um, oh, we've also got a bedroom up the top there, um, which we'll be able to stay on when we're going down to say the coast or anything like that. So it's really, really exciting. It's very purpose built. And um, it's also insulated within um, just amazingly so, so it's uh, sound deadening. So when people have come here and they share their stories, it's only ever between us and it stays here as well. So people can have the confidence in knowing that what they're sharing doesn't go any further, but they can still unload. And you were talking about going out to regional areas, Absolutely. especially locally, so down the south coast. Uh, that's right, that's right. So when I start this journey, it's going to be... Um, you know, two weeks here in Canberra, a week on the way down the coast, and then a week on the coast. And from Canberra to the coast, we actually have different um, kind of uh, movements that we're trying to get started through there, different conversations that we're focusing on. So here we're focusing on the conversation between ourselves and tradesmen as our main focus. So getting out to the trades and having those conversations with guys that usually wouldn't have this conversation. Um, and then heading down the coast, we're going to be fo focusing more on isolation. Um, you know, breaking that isolation, um, how does community reach each other, how do I help my friends? And then right down the coast we're actually going to be having big conversations around drugs as well. Um, which is some, some of my work that I've done back in New Zealand. So it's a really broad 
but it's also made for the people that it's going for. That's it's really research. exciting because it's because we do work in regional areas and they're actually crying out for that sort of community connection around mental health. Um, we've done, we've just recently done some work up at Bathurst and they were really appreciative of what we we're doing around storytelling. We're going down to Albury very soon to do some more storytelling down there. So, um, yeah, we, we seem to be on the same path. It's yes, and that's so exciting as well, being here in Australia, because this is so new to me, is having so many people on that same path, knowing what needs to be done and knowing that it needs to be done at a community level. Um, we can't wait for governmental change. We need to do it ourselves. And that's what this is about. And this is what Tim's doing. It's really important, isn't it? That's it is. what I had this discussion with um, a minister, an ACT minister. And I said, um, I realise it's hard for government to get things through because of the, the paperwork and, and the bureaucracy. That's right. Community can do anything that they like. Absolutely, absolutely. And when it's systemic change, yeah. that's where it needs to start. You yeah. know, it's the old Gandhi, we start with ourselves. If we want to change the world, that's how we do it. Definitely. Yeah. So, Sam, yes. what's your Facebook page address? My Facebook page is facebook.com slash the barter barber. So, barter as in like trade and exchange, the barter barber. And then, if you want to find this on Instagram, you go to instagram.com slash Ken Oath Barbershop. So, that's K E N Oath Barbershop. Good on you, Sam. Thank hey. you very much. I'm going to get a cut from Sam. I already have, but I'm going to get another one yes. while I'm here. Thanks, Sam. See you guys.